I welcome everybody to this wonderful workshop. Uh, we once again have uh, Sheila King here to guide us, and we are grateful to the New Horizons for Seniors funding that makes this possible. So welcome. I know we're going to have a great time. Sheila. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for bringing all this mountains of stuff in. It's funny when you start opening your eyes, what you see that you can prune. I'd like to thank God for having a hedge outside in the parking lot that has got this beautiful, beautiful cedar. And to start off with, I don't know if you've ever really looked at cedar. When I pick it, I always put my hands into the hedge a bit to get away from the dust and fumes and, and cut the good bits. But what do you see on there? Dark. Turn it around. It's a nice lime green. So I tend when I use it on, on one of these small dishes to do an arrangement that I would quite often use mostly that side, but I might you might see me turning it a bit. So there are tons of this here that you can get when I finished. And when I put my dish over there, that is as far as I want you to go. Now, after the last workshop, a couple of people I looked at after they put their greenery in and I thought, you're not trying to plant a forest. Don't pack everything from the kitchen sink in there because you won't have room to see the flowers. A good flower arrangement should have some rhythm in it. It should have some different textures. And my goodness, you've got the textures here. It's absolutely great. Look at this beautiful blue spruce. If we run out, there's two big trees out the front that need a bit of pruning. This is taxes. And um, this was a bit of mugo pine that I purloined. And I don't know what this is. Where did this lot come from, the long one? The one that's on the table there. The grocery store. The grocery store, okay. So this was purchased stuff. This is lovely and fine, but you don't have to use the whole branch. You're gonna be cutting it up. Um, so I think the main thing is just watch what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. If your oasis feels a bit dry, I did wet them last night. This has got flower food in it. I suggest you just give it a little bit of extra drink and it will soak straight into the oasis. That's there, you can come and get that later before you start putting stuff in to top it up. So what I do is I pick up a branch of cedar and I, I prune it back into usable pieces like this. And I strip the bottom off. Anything you put into an oasis, don't do this and try and get it in. Hold it near the stem. So what I'm gonna do is a perfect round one because I've got round dishes to put it on. And I just start off level with the top of the plastic and push and make sure it hangs down. I like using the light green, but I could put a bit of dark green in with it. Don't go too heavy on it. It doesn't need a tremendous amount. Whenever you cut a stem, cut it at 45 degrees. Why? Anybody got the answer? Because you've got more surface area to suck the water up. So I've gone light, dark. When I won that um, flower arranging thing in the fall, my <laughs> prices were two Fisker secateurs. This one is for flower arranging and it cuts wire. And it is a flower arranging one, and there is a bigger pair of secateurs. So I got the full set. I was really delighted. So I'm just going to go all the way around. If you've got a lazy Susan, thank you, Catherine, for bringing that in. It is so useful. So this one is going to be dark. And this one's going to be light. There's a few pine cones on this, too. Any questions? Oh, I've just knocked the coffee over. That's brilliant. Sheila, can you use all the same? Or can you use different kinds of everything? You could do, but I find that this, this really hangs down well. And the rest is going to be... Yeah, you can change it if you want. You can do what you want. I'm just showing you 
some of my favorites. There's a bit more. Yeah, but can I put uh, put your arrangement on maybe a cover because just to raise it up? I can't see what you're doing. What you can't see it, you want it up. Larry, I've knocked my copy over because you get the tissue from one. Oh, okay. That's so stupid. Thank you. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. There you go. That's good. And it turns as well. So I think about the point to say, okay, you've done enough there, stop. But really do get hold of the stem at the bottom to push it in. So my next little treasure, I suppose, is to think about height. If you're doing a table center and I'm sitting at the table, I don't want to mount the flowers in front of me so I can't see the person opposite. So you keep it very low. Thank you. You're well trained. So much for the coffee. Uh, it's typical of me, isn't it? Not the coffee. Right? Yeah. Right. What have we got? We've got this from the grocery store, which is really delightful. Oh, um, I want something oh, prickly. Oh, this is what's growing at the front of the church and it's growing over the sidewalk so it got pruned yesterday a bit now when you've got something with a lot of prickles at the bottom take your scissors or your colors and cut the prickles off so you end up with just the stem and again cut it at 45 degrees before up this will give it some lovely different color. We have got red and white flowers, right? Later. So I put that in so that it stands up a little bit. And when you've got one piece like this, you can get several pieces off here. Oh, thank you. Mm. It's so quiet when you're a penny drop. I'm going at the corners here to go diagonally. Mm, this is wicked. Have any of you looked at the one we did earlier on in the year? I did it with Meditech Horticultural Society, but it went through Macaw as well. But it was how to deal with a grocery store bunch of flowers. Um, I made that bunch of flowers last 10 weeks before I threw the remnants out. So I did an arrangement mm -hmm. with a bunch. And it was very well received actually online. And it's still there, I think. Is it not? Yeah. How long does that YouTube stuff stay up? Well, it's stayed on for three years so far. Yeah, yeah. You keep so that one is there. Oh, if you look what I've done, just one, two, three, four. What should we put in the middle? Something a bit more fluffier. I like this fluffy. This, I think, was from the grocery store. Do we know the name of it? No? No. Name is. Do you know, Val, what that is? I can't really see. No. Oh, scissors. Looks like it might be brain stock from BC. Yeah, something from BC. Yeah. They've got so much better stuff than we've got. So I like this because it's it's yeah. completely different texture. Yeah. Shake it around a bit. Yeah. When Shill and I were in BC a few years ago, there's this thin of growing beside the fence, there's this uh holly bush that's gotta be yeah. 10 feet tall, you know. 
of wonderful hauls. You know, we're lucky so to I'm going to keep it alive in this part of the world. Decide the height with this because I think that is enough on the high side. I'll push it right down at the bottom. Yeah. Did I use that? No. Let me use a bit of this. This is lovely. But look how many pieces you can cut off this. Just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. You're not supposed to be doing it yet. Oh. You're fired. Thank you. You wait and you come and have a look and then you go and do your own while I. I'm used to seeing a big full of what the girls used to call porcupine. Which they Green so this is a completely different texture so, again to that. And, that too, you know, and actually the back of it is interesting. The back of it is, hmm. yeah, I'm going to turn it around. So after you've put flowers in it, and that's a real special treat at the end, when you've, when you've passed, do you ever watch the program on TV? Uh, the, the racing game where they race across Canada and they can't go to the next step until they've been approved. Well, once they've approved you that you've done it right, then you'll get your flowers. <laughs> That's new this year. <laughs> That's new this year. I just thought of that one. <laughs> Sheila rules, yeah. So do you think I should stop with the greenery or do a bit more? I think I've used a bit of everything. Like this could be put in there somewhere. But what I was trying to point out to you that once you've finished, if you've got some little holes in it and you've got enough stuff here to fill the little holes up 10 times over. But if you can see the oasis, poke something else in. Now I'm gonna put this in the middle and you're gonna start your arm. So prep the stuff before you start sticking it in bit by bit. Prep the whole lot and then you'll know what you've got to, and it, it keeps the flow going with you putting it in. Right, I am going to stop on that and show you that. This was a, something I picked up the garage sale. It's happy 25th anniversary. <laughs> when I pulled it out of the basement yesterday, it was as black as black. But look what happens when you put that on the table mm -hmm. on the fill bus. Or if you've got charger plates, you can put it on a charger plate, silver, gold, or whatever. It doesn't look good on that clock, but mm -hmm. it makes a difference. Yeah. Um, by the time we put some baubles and beads on it and flowers in it and pine cones, it will be wonderful. So I'd like you to get that far. And if you want to come and have a look, there you go. And before we go right into it, Thank you, Marjorie, for bringing the bucket of pine cones in. Yeah, well done. So this is the regular color of pine cones. Oh, it was Sharon. Sorry, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So this is a sort of normal color of a pine cone. But Sharon has got some big, big things. Um, they're quite dark. But I was giving away a secret. What I do with pine cones, the good ones and the little ones, I get a bucket of bleach, neat, and I drop them in the bleach overnight. And look what happens. So when you've got the ones, the dark ones mixed with the light ones, and if you're using any paint on them, the gold paint and the glitter shows up much better on this or touch it with white paint, make it look like snow. So I'm gonna leave those on there so you can see the difference. And I suggest if you wanna do that, you, you take it in. So of course, when you get them wet in bleach, what happens to them? It comes up. So you rinse the bleach off, <laughs> shake them dry a bit and put them in a very low oven an hour and they will open up like that. I've had these for years. Okay, so 
I'll be around to mark you. Blow on it a bit and gently persuade it to be an open carnation. Get yourself about mm, nine of them lined up, near enough the same length. That one's a bit sharp. I can gently kiss it over. Two. You all okay with that? Nine of the same color? Or yeah, whatever you want. Mix them. About nine, about that long. And then we'll deal with the other odds and ends. That one with the candle in it, I plan to make that a no cost flower arrangement. No flowers, no cost, no money spent on it. This one will be the. I, well. It's not going to go past the height of that highest one, highest bit of greenery. So I'm doing myself a little bunch to play with. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can use leave the buds on if there's buds on their own. Some of these you're going to cut shorter, but I suggest you gently open them a bit. And I've got one here with a great long bud on it. I'll use that somewhere. Okay. That is my lot of these. So I now take one. And I'm trying to make it dance around here. The point is just going all the same height. They've got to be up, down, up, down, in, out. I can see one who knows what she's doing over there. Can you see the way it's going in and out, up and down? Not just a static bunch stuff all the same height. Sing a song to it and make, make the thing sing. Get hold of the bottom of the stem and push at the bottom and it won't break. That is too tall because it's coming up to the height of the highest bit of green. Cut a bit more off. There. Oh, it's gone so Are you okay, Lara? You want flowers? Oh, Try not to go any higher than the highest piece of green. Okay. Or if you've got a long one out the side, don't go longer than the outside arms of it. Oh. And here goes a bud that's going into. Picking out too much. Did you get your prunes back? Oh, no, they no. switched. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Well, we better write an article about this for the Manatic Messenger next week. Because <laughs> we could get your photograph. I think photograph Yes. Yes. And you stick it in my hand, preferably a bit, wait a minute, a bit diagonal, a bit of a diagonal on it. Are you watching what I do? And oh, voila, you got a stick of carbon on it. They've got a clip, and you can clip them on. Voila. Oh, he looked a bit drunk. <laughs> hey, Bob. Um, the other little game I play is to crisscross the other way so that there is a bit of life there. So, if you would like to come up and cut a bit of this off, this is a bit too long. Trim it. A voila. You now have a bird on a branch. 